Life is Strange True Colors is a new interactive movie that moved away from teenage stories. The developers tried to present an adult drama and worked on translation of gameplay. What turned out in the end? Watch in the review. What do you associate with Life is Strange? At best, with a good teenage story with a few unexpected twists and turns and pleasant gameplay, based on interaction with interacting points, and at worst with repetitive gameplay challenges and a dysfunctional story that feels decently over sentimentalized and fishing modern agenda. The debut installment of the franchise falls into the former category, while the sequel falls into the latter. Fan studio Dundot Entertainment was res responsible for the creation of Bot Project, but Life is Strange Before the Storm of Shot is about in the middle of between the number of games in time of quality. It turns out to be decent in general, but had problems with the demonstration of relationship between characters and support dram dramatic humans. For the spin-off was responsible Deck 9 Games, which publisher Square Unix, entertain the creator of the next part of the series, Life is Strange True Colors. We in the additional staff of the were a bit skeptical about the project and expect to see before the storm only in different vapor. That's why you can't tell what expression we had after playing the game. In the view below we, we will view what exactly makes Life is Strange the call so appealing. It again cares her past signs the protagonist Alex Chen went to boarding school. The girl has grown up and is ready to go to her older brother Gabe, who lives in the small town of Heaven Springs, Colorado. They were separated at a young age due to family issues. Alex has been a several footer parents, but no one has stayed with her for long. Gabe served time in Juve before settling in Heaven Spring. For a long time he searched for his sister and finally managed to contact her. Immediately after arriving, Alex began to settle into the town. She got to the known the few residents of Heaven and remembered how nice it was to have a brother. Kind and smiling Gabe tried to support the main character in every possible way, to become a support for her after boarding school, and he did it pretty well. Until a certain incident happened, Alex's brothers died, and in situations that should not have happened, the main character lost the only need to person, and Fumi decided to deal with the circumstances of his death. To do this, the girl began to apply her increased ability to empathy, a supernatural power that she had hated all her life. It will say right away that the plot of Life is Strange to Colors is a true has better than in the previous part. The story turns out to be emotional, dramatic and down to earth at the same time. The problem of the character and conflicts between them will always be understandable to the player, because it's easy to face them in real life. For example, the grandmother does not want to tell her granddaughter about her illness, so that she could quietly go to study. The mother is angry at her son, as his disappointment led to the trouble. The policeman is afraid to the pressure from the authorities, and therefore to make not the most fair decision. Life is strange to cause constantly simulate situation that can be understood from the point of view of different characters. The plot also doesn't shy away from the exploring complex topics. It perfectly shows how hard life is for orphans in boarding schools. In places the story touch on the blind American Tammies, which sucks under influential people. The developer did not, for did not forget to speak out about the corporate world that greens people down. Life is strange to cause doesn't shy away from personal but no less important topics either. You may think it's corny, but some episodes the game goes through my veins and from there into my hair. I was struck by my how decline shows the importance of friendship and caring the lost ones in the ritual and and brought you away. The developer seems to settle inside the user, lightly sweep away in the hearts and then show what is the most important thing in the life. To the realization of Chapter 2, there are no complaints, they are ordinary people with the baggage of the past and a set of her dreams, experiencing the worries. It's easy to believe in their existence, because the characters are writing in accordance with a general down-to-earth tone of two colors. They also talk naturally, dialogues never give off faceless, and if characters swear, it's only to express their emotion.
I would like to emphasize the plot twist. In two moments from the expected development of events, I emotionally opened my mouth. At first the detective line seemed simple and predictable, but closer to the end it opened up perfectly. However, one would immediately want to point out that the twist produced logical inconsistencies. This is the first problem with the plot, and the second is Deck Nine's old habits. At times the game dips too much into the same sentimentality and starts to straightforwardly push pity. The mentioned flow are noticeable, but you quickly forget about them against the background of all adventure of the story. Separately, it should be mentioned about the real uh, variability of the narrative. Should the passage the player will have to make decision. Some of them do not affect anything, other quit fox do not change the result, and the tier depends on the ending. The choice from among the latter is present on each uh, chapter, and is always the most difficult. The user will have to repeatedly seem in dobs, because at stake will be as face of Alex and other character to whom you have to time to cling. In most cases, decisions are based on information that the protagonist leans for the help of the supernatural powers. She is able to read people's emotion, as it's were her own, and especially strong feeling of other involuntary embrace Alex, which often led to the breakdowns and problems in the boarding school. When passing the girl gradually changed her attitude to her own skills and learned to use them for a good. On the gameplay level, the mechanics are implemented simply. The player attracts a power and sees an aura of one of the four colors around the person. Red means anger, blue means sadness, purple means fear, and golden means joy. When Alex divides into some character's emotions late, she has to figure out the reason for it and try to help. Usually the process boils down to find clues that will unlock a new round of dialogues. Mechanic Mechanically, with the use of the main character powers, did not become the central feature of the game. It would have been deepened, making the process of helping character more interesting and varied. For example, create not so obvious clues and add the possibility of failure in the such moments, so that the user feels responsible. However, it, however, even with this implementation of the core mechanics, the gameplay still wants to be praised. At the basic level, a gameplay consists of walking around and interacting with the interactive points. Exploring the environment allows you to learn a lot of useful information about the war and some critical plot details. They might even be worth bringing them into the main story, so as not to compromise their cohesiveness. Also, interacting with objects and characters allow you to participate in small quests. For example, there is a bird watcher standing in the park, looking out for a bird. Alex can show you where to keep watching and the user will get an achievement. It's a great approach that works well for reality. But the main merit of the gameplay is a constant change of situation and the presence of small mechanics. At one point, players will be given a few matches of tabletop soccer and in another snippet you will get to be a part of live RPG with a turn-based battles and variant quest. Each realization is guaranteed to please all users. It's just pity that not all episodes the developers squeezed out to the maximum. For example, in the first chapter there is a stage where a mini game with a search of environment object by picture is clearly called for, and also Life is Strange through colors would not hurt the ability to play melodies on the guitar, as the last part of us because Alex has been friends with this instrument since childhood. But in general, Deck 9 made a lot of efforts to make sure that this new game didn't become an interactive movie with one call gameplay. Life is Strange to Calls looks stunning. And no, the reason is not because of the advanced graphics. The object in its opposite. They don't shine with a lot of polygons. Colorful stylistics with a subtle combination or saturated colors is responsible for the amazing appearance. The, the developers managed to convoy the cozy atmosphere of Heaven Springs, a small town in the middle of the mountains, where everyone knows each other. In some places, Deck 9 shows this settlement with such low that you can't help but want to go there through the monitor screen. On the technical side, Life is Strange through Colors is polished to shine. I had only one monitor bug in the splash screen. The character became in T pose, but this quickly took to the concert position. But the dual sense implementation in the project is not too impressive. The vibrations are too strong and not fine tuned, while the adaptive triggers are too jarring when using Alex ability. So, conclusions. Life is Strange to Colors is a must buy for all players who love great stories and have nothing against interactive movies. Next 9 creation is passed for 8-10 hours 
almost in one breath, leaving only a pleasant aftertaste. And even gameplay which is such project is always pushed to the background, the developers try to make diverse and existing. I hope that in the future Deck 9 will continue to develop Life is Strange series. Thank you for watching.